And Bob, go ahead and get it started, please. Okay. Hey, hey McKay, how you doing? Th thanks yeah. for being on. Hey, you know, you, you've always been a, a pretty good shot blocker, but this year the team's really uh, doing well in terms of number of blocks. Just wondering what, what your thoughts are on that, uh, how how important that is. Uh, shot blocking is uh, definitely uh, something big uh, for us, you know, with our length and athleticism. Um, and Coach always says uh, we can all shot, uh, have the ability to, we just got to do it. So and, um, I think we've been done a good job uh, tracking the ball, um, and helping out a uh, uh, man that's in front of the ball out. Um, also, the guards have been getting blocks like uh, T-Mart. Um, I think KB got a few, and uh, Devo got a few as well. So uh, definitely important. Yeah, I think Layden got three the other night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Layden wow. also. Are you kind of jealous, or do you think, hey, man, that's too many blocks for you little guys. You need to save <laughs> for some big guys. What do you think about that? Uh, I mean, that's what I'm known for, so uh, – I mean, it was nothing. I mean, there's no competition. <laughs> do you feel like, um, I mean, the NCAA of the box score didn't say altered shots, but do you feel like when you guys are blocking shots, especially that game you had 15, you've had 10 a couple of times, yeah. when you guys get blocks early, I mean, 10 against a Duke, I, I don't think too many teams do that. Can you get a sense that maybe teams are getting a little gun shy or you're, or you're affecting other shots, even if you're not blocking them? Uh, just the length um, is just what really what affects the shot. Um you know, being able uh, to um, create like a, a – what would I say? Um, just any any way to, to um, cause pressure on the shot is is what's big uh, for us. Um, a coach preached that, um, and the guys listened to it. So, Yeah, I got a couple more, but I'll, I'll turn it back to Mike. Thanks. Curtis. Hey, Kai, I think Oklahoma was picked 12th in the preseason in the Big 12. Obviously, they're they're undefeated, nationally ranked, and you guys are trying to climb back up after a couple early setbacks. I guess, you know, what's the the mindset of the team, you know, about this opportunity and maybe the importance of this matchup on Saturday? Uh, just take every every game um, as one game at a time. Coach And Coach always preaches that uh, we got to respect our opponent, um, no matter who they is. It could be uh, Purdue, Duke um ODU um we got to respect them every night um because they um every player is good, good in the, in this NCAA league um so um she, she so we just going to take it one game at a time and uh continue to listen to coach on the game plan um on how to uh beat these uh you know next coming games we got going into the SEC play so um i think that's a, i think that's a best plan for us I don't know how far you guys have gotten into scouting report on, on Oklahoma yet, but what do you make of them as a, as a team so far? And maybe specifically, you know, your matchups there in the front court. Uh, they're a good team offensively. Uh, we do know that they, um, they've added some athleticism and strength at the guard spots and stuff like that. So, um, coach has done a good job of, um, you know, getting us ready, pre preparing us with film, um, of guys and stuff like that. Um, and, you know, we're just going to continue to um, abide by coach's rules, you know, once he, he makes certain rules, like, to certain players and stuff. So we're just going to follow the game plan. Scotty? Yeah, Kai, that kind of leads me into my question. How do you feel like you guys have followed the game plans in, in kind of each game this year? Uh, I mean, we've pr pretty much done a good job up until, like, um, UNCG, um, you know, uh, the plan was like to not let them shoot as many threes and, um, you know, um, players are good, like coach said in, in, in this league. Um, so, um, a couple guys got hot. I mean, pretty much for the, for the most part, I think we've done a good job. Um, and, uh, also like we probably had a couple of days of preparation while we was in, uh, the Bahamas, but you know, no excuses. Well, we still got to be prepared. I was looking at some of Oklahoma's numbers earlier. They finished really well at the rim, I think over 70%. Uh, like in your mind, how do you keep this team or any team that's good around the rim from being effective at the rim? Um, it's going to take uh, good rim protection, um, good on-ball defense, um, all five guys, uh, you know, good uh, nail help, as we call it, um, good stunts when the ball is kicked out, good X outs. I think it's going to take pretty much everything. Um, to win his game, um, but uh, 
a tre tremendous job by like bigs like myself, Chandler, and uh, Trevor Brazil uh, with the rim protection. And the, the last thing I have, you've played in BOK Center against OU before. What is that environment like to play in, and, and what do you remember about last year? I think you you played really well last year, I think, with four assists. Uh, it was great environment. Uh, you know, it's just like, I mean, it's just another game for me, but it was a, a great environment for sure. Um, I definitely liked it. Um, I felt the atmosphere. Um, it was like pretty fit, like 50, 50, 50, um, with Arkansas fans, Oklahoma fans. Um, but it was good and, uh, we played hard and, uh, the outcome was what it was. Jackson. Hey, Makai, uh, I know it's a long season, and but a lot's kind of changed in just a week uh, since the battle for Atlantis. You know, you guys have the win over Duke and Tremont's back. I mean, is there are there noticeably like much better vibes within the team right now than when you guys were done at the Bahamas? Or have you been pretty even keel throughout the start of the season? Uh, I think things have been pretty even. Um, we've done a good job with like um, coming together and jailing, um, you know, um, I think uh, the Bahamas really helped us um, in terms of like um, togetherness and stuff like that um, and being all in. Um, and yeah, we've been pretty, pretty, pretty tight. What's what's the uh, emotional boost just been like having, you know, Tremont back with the team and it was a scary fall, but he really hasn't missed too much time. Uh um extremely excited. Um, it wasn't nothing bad. Um, you're talking about his ankle, uh, right? I was, come on, come on. oh, 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 man, I'm thinking you're talking about Trevor Brazil. Oh, man. Um, Tremont, my, nah, nah, that was a scary fall. I thought you were talking about Trevor Brazil, but, um, we all, we all was sad. Um, a couple guys was crying on the bench and stuff like that. Um, even the, um, UNC fans was asking about him, man. We was letting them know that he was okay. okay. Um, I even sent the text to our trainer, um, that, to see, uh, just just to check on him, um, any type of information we can get. Um, but once he texts, uh, we all we all love the message. We all uh, text him and stuff like that. Um, and it's kind of scary seeing him the next day in a wheelchair. So um, we we just had high hopes for him and said our prayers and stuff like that. And uh, you know, you know, I'm glad he's back though for sure. Thought you got a question, Bob? Yeah. Uh so to stay on the, the, the team mark theme, like you say, he was on a wheelchair. You know, I'm sure that was a precaution, but he probably couldn't move around very well. And then to think like about 10 days after he's in a wheelchair on your on your flight home, he's out there playing, you know, 20 plus minutes. And um, just how impressive is that? And Eric said he showed up every day yeah. to practice in his gear, even though he wasn't going to practice. Just kind of what 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 just wondering your, your thoughts on that. Uh definitely show toughness. Um, I like that a lot. Um, I kind of figured that. He was that um that type of gritty player. Um, um I I kind of like it, honestly. Um it definitely showed me a lot. Um it showed the team like he has toughness and he um despite anything that happened, he wants to be with the team. So I was definitely impressed with that. And and then I, I know he, you know, maybe he didn't play as well the other night as he normally would because he's, you know, missing practice and he's still, I'm sure he's still going through stuff. But um what you think of the way he played and then maybe how much better he could play, maybe looking more like his old self on Saturday? Um, He's going to get back into it, um, getting the flow in the game. Um, he definitely said it definitely was a hard fall. Um, he definitely didn't look like himself, um, but he'll be back. Now, another thing on the block shots, obviously you didn't have, you know, Tre Trevin for most of last year. Of course, when you, you, you lose your, your brother, he had a ton of blocks too. Um, and, and then Chandler's blocking a lot, but w w what's it mean, you know, to have TB, hopefully he's okay for Saturday, but, you know, moving forward for the season to have him and then Chandler's addition in terms of the block shots. Oh, uh, it's, it's definitely um, something that we preach. Um, like, like I said, um, something that uh, we set the stand up from last year. So um, for them to um, have that same type of uh, mentality is definitely good for the team. And one more, I think I'll use about a plus 10 or plus nine something on on rebound margin. And I know they they hit the offensive boards hard. And, and Furman had, I think, 15 offensive boards the other night. That that was one thing y'all didn't do real well. But um, what do you think about their rebounding margin? And just what do you guys maybe have to do to, to, to rebound against those guys and not give up, you know, the second chance points and offensive boards? Uh, it's going to take all five of us. Um, 
and get better with that at practice. Um, I think we probably do something today. Uh, uh, some coach could probably make up something um, that get it that'll get us better. Yeah, so I got one more. Uh, Eric's gone over this a couple of times, how there's different scouting reports. Like it used to be an assistant coach would take game X and another coach would take game Y and whatever. And now the guys are all kind of doing the same thing where somebody takes personnel, somebody takes, you know, plays, somebody takes whatever. And these are the players like that. Well, what's the difference in the, the way the scouting reports are presented? How, how's that been? Uh, they've been giving, giving us a lot of information. Um, Leading up to games, uh, scouting posts, like you said, um, rules, like I said before, the coach, like, uh, as we watch the film, implement, like, rules on players, like, certain tendencies that we want to stop. So, um, it's been good overall. But, I mean, do you like the fact that there's some consistency, like, Keith Smart's doing this and and Rude is doing that and Michael Musselman's doing that, that it's not just a different coach every game, assistant coach doing the scout, but it's there's a consistency to it with guys doing certain at breaking down certain aspects of the opponent, you know, game after game after game. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> okay. Don't worry about it. Thanks, man. Uh, appreciate it.